Police announced to overnight the man that they've been searching for in connection to two fires at two local mosques is now arrested and in police custody. This coming about a week after those fires were set on back to back days. Joining me now is, for the latest on this is Minneapolis Public Safety Commissioner Cedric Alexander. Thank you so much. We appreciate your time on a Sunday morning. Good morning. Uh, we got the statement from the chief overnight. There was this mm -hmm. rally uh, last night from mm -hmm. some of the mosque leaders, Muslim community showing support. And then just mm -hmm. a few hours later, we get this uh, message that mm -hmm. from the chief saying, yes, indeed, the, mm -hmm. the fires are connected and that um, the suspect is in custody. Can you tell us any more at all about the circumstances where he was arrested, anything of that nature? Well, I can't get any more detail in terms of uh, the effects of that arrest, but certainly it was a great work of uh, Minneapolis Police Department and its leadership and our partners who took part in this uh, investigation that, uh, as well. But certainly kudos and hats off to Minneapolis Police Department because they worked this case uh, around the clock in no parts of our community houses of worship should feel threatened. And we took this very seriously, as you can see, as we do all our crime in this community. And uh, we were able to bring this to a close. And we have no other reason at this moment to believe that there's any other threats that are out there to any of our houses of worship. And certainly in our Muslim community, no one should feel uh, threatened because of how they practice or where they practice their beliefs. And I'm sure as they are waking up and learning this, right. hopefully they are feeling relieved. And yes. um, we kind of learned a little bit about the partnership with the FBI, mm -hmm. the ATF. It took a lot of, Correct. Um, of coordination in this investigation yes, it did. to get to this point. Yes, it did. And our federal partners, as always, did a great job in our support. And uh, we as well support them in their efforts. And that's what really makes everything work in this community. Let's talk also about the latest crime numbers and where mm -hmm. they stand, things trending down, but we also know historically as right. the weather heats up in the summertime, right. we tend to see our crime numbers go up pretty significantly. Talk about what's your plan for summer going well, into Well, the plan for all of us, you know, one of the reasons why this Office of Community Safety was stood up by the mayor, uh, I think is a real reflection of the work that's being done currently, the work that we started last year in late summer, through the fall, through the winter, and now coming into the spring. So yes, we've seen significant drops uh, in violent crime. However, we still got a lot of work to do, but that is a good indicator and we have some good numbers to support that. But I think the most important thing here for me to remember, and I hope the community remember as well, is that when we bring all of our platforms together, police, fire, emergency management, Office of Neighborhood Safety, and of course our Office of Emergency Management, by bringing all these platforms together, when we talk about uh, uh, crime fighting and keeping our community safe and these things, I think that has played a significant part in this. That was the reason why I was brought here and the men and women, the chiefs and the directors who are coordinating and leading their offices from, from police right to 911. They all are doing a great job. They're working together. They're talking together. We're bringing all the resources together and that include our partners as well. So it is a culmination, I think, of all those things. In addition to, very importantly, is that we have a community that is beginning to uh, work closer with us as we continue to build these relationships uh, that certainly had been frayed over the years. So we have a lot of ongoing work to do. Uh, but as I said, when I came here in August of last year, it's gonna collectively take all of us to do that. And I still stand by that, and I think we're seeing numbers to reflect it. Yes, as we go into the summer months, the summer heats up, one of our biggest plans is to steady the course, continue to use the science, uh, utilize the limited resources that we do have very efficiently and smartly, and uh, continue to work with our community members who are very much a part of our fine, uh, crime fighting strategy. And, uh, and I th here again, I think the leadership by all five of those uh, 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 platform leaders, whether it's police, fire, 911, all of them are doing an incredible job in their leadership and talking and working together. And that's what's important here in all of this. All right, we're out of time. Lots to talk about, but we've run yes. out of time. Commissioner Alexander, we really appreciate it. And we'll have you back. Thank you very much for Thank having you. me.